what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and today i will be doing a story time on the time that i got hired and fired within one month now remind you this was my first job first ever job that i ever got and it was a journey store if you guys do not know what journeys is it's a shoe store that also sells many accessories they sell like name my name brand brand new coming out shoes clothes to match it's mostly like adidas vans pumas converses like their main thing they sell is converses like they have a big supply of converses and they have um hats socks stuff to clean your shoes with stuff like that but yeah so i had applied to work at journeys because I love shopping at Journeys. I stayed there. Most of the shoes that I wore came from Journeys. My sister, most of the shoes my sister wear come from Journeys. And we just stayed in Journeys all the time. We just was, you know, Journeys, that's just where we was. So, I applied there. And I swear, like, for a month, I was calling, calling, calling. Just like... I put in the application, I'm just calling to check up on it, they would ask for my name, okay, we're going to give it to the manager so that they can talk to you. Never got a call back, not once, for like a whole month. So then finally I was like, you know what, I'm going to just go up there, because maybe if I go up there and they talk to me, then, you know, it'll be more, it'll get the ball moving. But I called one time, and a lady answered, and she was like, yeah, it would be better for you to come up here than to keep calling. So... That Monday, I think it was that Monday, I went up there. And, no, it was that Friday I went. And I went with my mama down. And I talked to the hiring manager. And he just was like, come back. Come back the, the following Monday. And we can do an interview. I was like, see, if I would have just been did this, then a whole month wouldn't even pass. I would have been working that month. But, no, I had to be hard-headed. So, that weekend... I went shopping with a few friends, got some clothes, you know, get cute to try some like out the norm stuff. And that Monday, I put on this little cute pink top. Well, these I think it was black jeans. I don't know what I wore. And I wore some black, no one black jeans, but some jeans and some black Tims. Because I had got them Tims from Journeys. So, okay, so I go to the interview and I didn't know that I was going to be interviewed along with another person. Like, I was it was me and this dude and we was getting interviewed now so during the interview I was like really nervous on the inside I'm like this is my first ever interview like I don't know what they about to ask me what I'm gonna say I can like I can barely talk my grammar is horrible so I'm just like they're gonna judge me on that it's just it's gonna be so much so I just was nervous but I wasn't really showing that I was nervous but I was nervous so he's just asking he asking questions and the dude that I'm interviewing with is just answering every question i'm just like can you let me answer a question like he right time the manager would get done asking he on the ball answering i'm just like dang he gonna be like this girl can't even answer no questions she she don't even want to talk i ain't want her so i was like oh my gosh so finally i was starting to talk like he would be quiet for a little while and i could talk so i was talking but then my mom popped up to give me some gas money because she was in the mouth so she gave me some money I just was like, you know, talking to her while he was talking to him. And you know, my mama left. So then he started back talking to me. And I had noticed, like, even when dude was talking, he was looking at me. So I'm just like, okay, maybe this is a good sign. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, this is good. So then when I started talking about it, he asked us about our little schedule. Like, when are we free and stuff like that. And dude said he had another job. So, you know, he had certain days. When he asked me, I was like, any other the week. After, a certain, after this time right here, so I can get here any day, I'll pop up and just put me on the schedule. And that's when we kind of like left. We After that, it was kind of like, you know, I'll get back to y'all. Y'all can leave. Me, I was hungry. I wanted some food. So I went to the food court. And when the manager was walking back to the store, he like, you know, tapped me and was like, come to the store when you're done eating. So I was like, okay, does this mean that I got the job or does this mean he just, I don't know, he want to talk to me, I don't know. So I get my food and I sit down and I'm just like, I'm not going back because I don't know what he about to say. I'm nervous. Maybe he didn't even say come back to the store. Excuse me. I just like, I don't know what I'm about to do. So I leave. 
Then the next day, I called back to talk to him. And I just was like, did you tell me to come back to the store? And he was like, I did. I need you to come back. And I was like, oh, I didn't. I was. I didn't know if I should or not. I was like, just like stuttering, stammering. I couldn't get no words out. He was like, well, I'm gonna need you to come back today. So I went back. And that's when I walked in. He was like, congratulations, you got the job. I was like, oh my gosh, I got my first job. It's at a shoe store. I ain't got to work with fast food. I am just lit. I'm the happiest. So, well, I'm doing my little login stuff and getting my name in the system and all the other good stuff. And, you know, I get clocked in for that. So, I get my little bit of hours just to do that. And then, the next day, which is my first actual day of like selling shoes and stuff like that it was it was the best like that day that just let me know oh my gosh i love this job this is the job for me i'm keeping this job i'm gonna be on it i was selling shoes i was selling accessories i was meeting my goals it was it was just the funnest day i didn't work with my like highest manager i worked with one of the like assistant managers and i was like they're so fun i love working with them it's just the best I met my goal all that day, which was like, that would be the last day I made that I would actually meet my goal. So, the second day that I worked, well, actually this is the third day, but this is the second day of me actually working. I'm selling shoes. I'm not really selling shoes. I'm barely selling shoes. Like, I couldn't get no shoes to move for nothing. Like, it just was horrible. <laughs> and I just thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to get fired for this. But he just was like, you know, you're still training. And everything else because I was just doing a lot wrong. I was not following by the book. I was just trying to get shoes out of the way just to try to meet this goal. So <laughs> in walks this cute. I mean, this is the cutest dude that ever walked into journeys I've seen. Like he was just so cute. And he worked in the mall. So I was like, okay, let's get this. He didn't come to buy shoes. His friend did, but somebody was working with his friends. So I was trying to flirt with him because he just was that cute. So I was trying to get him to buy some shoes so, you know, we can get some conversation going and whatnot. And I kept, like, pushing these Clarks on him. I'm just like, you know, buy these Clarks. They're cute. I seen you looking at them anyway. Just go ahead. You want to try them on? i get you your size and whatnot. So we just, you know, flirting, being cute with each other. And then that's when he made the comment of, he just was like, that he going to buy them. But he was like, we need to argue a little bit about these shoes because I didn't come in about shoes and now you got me buying shoes. And I just was like, okay, see, he's trying to talk to me. I'm about to do this. But then he was like, he got to go to the car to get his money. I was like, he ain't about to come back. He ain't about to come back. So I held the shoes back there. The day went on. And he came back. I was like, yes, yes, yes. He came back, continued to flirt with me and whatnot. And then he bought his shoes. I was hoping, I was just like, please ask for my number, ask for my number, ask for my number. And he just kept saying, we got to we got to keep arguing about these shoes because I shouldn't have been buying these shoes. I didn't come to buy no shoes. I just want to argue with you. I just want to talk with you. Just stuff like, little stuff like that. I'm just like, ask for my number. We can argue after this. We can argue, continue to argue. But he didn't. He just walked out with his friend. And I just was like, I'm going to stalk him at work. But, yeah, I'm not. But he was really cute. He was really cute. But, yeah. Then my fourth day. Okay, so my first day was like at the end of one week. So it was like a, I think it was like a Wednesday I worked that day. Then I ain't work no more that week. Then the next week came around. I worked on a Wednesday and this is a Friday. Then I worked my first ever like weekend, like Saturday at the mall, which is hectic. Just people in and out, in and out, in and out. And that day I did not meet my goal at all because I was working with so many people. I couldn't get to buy no shoes. I couldn't sell no shoes, nothing. It just was horrible. By the end of the day... One of my co-workers was trying to sell for me. Like, whatever she would sell, she was letting me get. Like, that's how horrible it was. It just was so horrible. I, I swear I was not selling no shoes. I was not making no sales. None of that. Okay, so then the next week come around. Remind you, this is the week of prom and spring break. So that Wednesday that I was supposed to go to work, one of my managers just was like, don't come in today. One of the managers got fired, so don't come in today. I'm just like, are you telling... I'm like, I was like, I'm confused. Like, you tell me not to come in to work? Or are you telling me that one of the managers are not coming in to work? Because why would you be telling me not to come in to work? Because the manager not there. But she was like, I'm telling you, don't come in. So I didn't go in. Then that Friday, I had got a co-worker to work for me because I was going to the beach that Friday. So, and she told me that she would work for me, so... I didn't go but I guess that my the high like the, the 
hiring manager that hired me didn't know that so he just thought that i didn't come in now that saturday i had asked for that off so i didn't even worry about that saturday i just was like bump it i'm out that's prom i'm about to get cute and whatnot and if you have not seen me for prom then you can click on my link to instagram and you can look at those few pictures i was gonna do a prom get ready with me but i was on the beach getting ready for prom so i just I, it wasn't no setup for me or anything to do that so i apologize for that i did say i was gonna do it but it just didn't work out but anyway back to the story so i was getting ready for prom so i said i'm not going in that day so at the prom, after we done took pictures and everything, I was going to send the pictures into the group that we have, cause that's what one of my coworkers did last week. She put a, one of her prom pictures in there, so I was gonna do that. That's when I knew I got fired. So I went to do it, and I was nowhere in no group no more. I just was like, "What? Like, what's going on?" So I messaged my manager like, "Did I get fired?" And he just was like, "Yes, you did. You didn't show up not once this week." So I'm sending him screenshots so my manager told me not to come in and I'm telling him I had somebody to work for me Friday. Like I'm just like I didn't just come in, it was the reasons why I didn't. So he was like, Well then come in this following Monday and we can talk about it. But remind you, it's spring break. I'm on the beach lit. I'm not leaving the beach. I don't leave till Tuesday, so no, it's not happening. I'm not doing it. So that's when he just was like, Well, whenever you're free actually he didn't even say that he just said okay so now i'm mad i'm just like okay what that mean i don't know where you work you need to tell me why i need to come so when i'm when i get home i messaged him and was like that i can come it was one day i said i can come today and he was like i'm not gonna be at work today and i just was like but you told me you work every day all day so what that means and that's when he said well you know what come friday and we can talk about it so i walked up in there friday and i'm just like okay you know what's happening i look around the store i mean new employees all across the board it was just like two people who i had worked with that was still there everybody was just fired the manager who told me that to come in fired everybody just fired and he just was like well you can have your job back but you have to log your stuff back in do you want your job back I looked around the store, I thought about selling them shoes, how I was not moving no shoes, I wasn't moving nothing, no weight, no no, no nothing. I was like, you know what, this might not be the job for me, this might not be the best for me, so I'd just rather not take the job back. So I was just like, you know, I'm not taking it back, you can keep it and whatnot, I just get my, you know, money for how long I worked. So he just like, well, okay, whenever your pay card gets in then you can come in here and get it and then that's you know you're released and if you try to get another job you can put me down as a reference i'll be glad to you know do all that good stuff excuse me so all that happened and i got my first my little card with my money on it and i worked four days i worked four days of being clocked in and i got paid i got paid like a 120 and some change so i was like I need to get me a job back because for four days of working, I got 120 and some change. Like, that's great. Like, let's go. So, that's really the story of how I got hired and fired within one month. Really, it was in two weeks I got fired. <laughs> but if you guys are like a video on me telling y'all like the behind the scenes things about the store about the store journeys i'll be glad to do that because a lot of stuff that i did not know about journeys until i started working there and that's why i like some stuff like to click like oh this is why that happened this is why they do this and all other stuff so if you guys would like that you can comment down below and let me know but thank you guys for watching and if you enjoy you know like comment subscribe i appreciate all y'all love all y'all and i'll see you in my next one this is sin signing off peace